Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aaliyah, also known as AJ Plans here on YouTube and on Instagram. And today we're gonna to be planning out March 7th to the 13th and my a Hobonichi cousin Avec. So getting into what we're using to plan today, I have my script stickers that my friend Michelle had made for me for study and homework. So I'm gonna have use those. I have my leftovers from my January subscription. And I think some of these are from February? No. Um, that's also from December. So I'm gonna be using these to mark in some stuff in my weekly. I have the February colorway that I'm marking in a few things here. I have my classes on this one for my daily pages as well as my top three boxes and checklists. So these are all gonna be used on my daily pages. So I'll put these to the side. Then I have these that I'm gonna be using, this part that I always cut off to use as a checklist in my daily pages, I think. I have the freebie from the Made in Canada sale. So I'm gonna be using this box here um, to mark in the week of school I'm in. I have the headers, and this is also in the Made in Canada collab sale um, colorway or theme, I guess you could say. So I'm gonna be using these in my daily pages because I think they are yeah, they are too big for the width size of the columns in the Hobonichi. And um, because the words go all the way to the end, they're not centered, I have to use the, I can't um, overlap these like I have my previous ones. And then I have this functional sampler. So this was a freebie if you hit $50. I didn't quite hit it, but Selena was so kind enough to send it to me anyway. So that is um, what I'm gonna be using. I'm using not all of this, parts of the kit obviously but i'm going to be using as much as i can and i think these boxes are also a little bit too big but i will just let it hang over a tiny bit um, as long as the part that i want to mark is marked i'm also using i have a couple pieces here so this is for marking planner time on saturdays i have these little valentine's day um computers i have the i have some saint patrick day and easter ones on the way these are from Planet with Stickers. I have these work scripts that are new from Planet with Stickers. Um, this is from Planet with Stickers. And then I have my two contact cases to mark changing my contacts, both in my daily and my weekly. And those are from Planner Monkey Co. And then I have this little Netflix bill that I'm gonna put in my daily pages for um, the Prairie Planner. Something different I'm gonna do is normally I do color blocking, but today I wanna to use some washi to block off my work hours, which I had gotten from, I was watching Plan With April, I think her, her YouTube channel is. I'll have it linked up in the cards for you guys who are interested. And I am gonna be using this Simply Gilded washi that my friend Michelle had given me for that. Um, for my bottom washi, I'm gonna be using this snowy tree one just because the colors do match. Let me find the end here. The colors match with the theme that I'm going for with the blues and the pinky color. And this is a washi sampler I got from a friend in Cindy Gunter Baldo's Discord server. I'm not sure where this washi is from, but that's what I'm gonna be using there. Um, oh, and I have these extra pieces. I don't know if I'm gonna need to pull anything in. So this is also an exclusive, um, that was only for the sale. So this is in the pink terrazzo design. And then I have these two St. Patrick deco sheets that I might pull some stickers in from if I need to. So I think what we're gonna do is, let me peel these off first. And I'm going to start with my bottom washi. So uh, let's see, what's what can I catch you guys up on? So uh, the last time I spoke to you guys, it was the week going into my midterms. So I got to, I finished those, first of all. Let me see what line this is on, 23. So let me put it on like 22 and a half. Sorry guys, let me just lay down the end of the washi and figure out what I'm doing first and then I will catch you guys up on everything. So I finished my midterms, obviously, since uh, time has passed, but I completed my midterms. I think I did pretty good on most of them. I'm still waiting on the grades back for two of them. So I will have to wait and see what happens then. Um, 
but for the most part everything seemed like it worked out pretty well then i got to spend my study week just relaxing for the most part it was just like the last couple of days of the week that i was busy with schoolwork i actually got to hang out with my cousins on the thursday because we had impromptly decided to go hang out at their house so we just kind of invited ourselves over and it was really fun because i haven't seen them in a little while but it did sacrifice some schoolwork time and then on friday which was yesterday my friend and i my friends i should say and i had were busy doing schoolwork because we had something due that was last due last night that we hadn't yet completed so that was a little bit last minute but we made it before the deadline so that's all that matters then we let me grab the stickers i'm using for my classes so from there we had sorry guys i'm like my brain is stalling just a little bit um so Oh, I want to say on the Tuesday, though, we had gotten to hang out um, in person after not hanging out for a very long time. So some of them I do see more often because I have classes with them or whatever it is. But two of them I hadn't seen in actually two years just because we had um, differing schedules. And like one of them graduated before I did. And then another one had like lives in a city up north so he doesn't really get to come down and he's currently not taking in-person classes so that means he doesn't have to come in person obviously um mco this one starts at 11 40. Mm -hmm. okay yeah but it was really nice to see everyone one of our friends he's a newer friend who hadn't hung out with us before, so it was nice that he could come because he does hang out with us a lot online, but he's never been with us to an in-person hangout. So I wanted to invite him so that he could meet some of the people that he talks to. Um, this one starts at 5.10. So I'm just putting in the start times. I don't know what, um, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else. It's just like to know the start time. I know how long my classes are now, so I don't really need to worry about the duration so i think i'm gonna do it so i start bottom up so i'm working until five this day i'm working i think two to five so five is 17 right mm -hmm. and then two o'clock is 15 oops it's hard to get it lined up on this side There we go. Where's my, here we go. So I'm gonna just use my pencil board to rip that. So I have that and then I, on this day, I'm working nine to three, which is 15. Gotta get it straight or as straight as I can. I have this here. Um, what else? So going into school over the next week, we are getting back into the swing of things. It's actually like so crazy how much time has passed. We're halfway through the semester. We're gonna be finishing up a lot of stuff soon. So it's gonna be just projects all the time. Um, later today, actually one of my friends and I, we have to get going on our capstone project. So we've done a lot of the prep work, but as for the actual like coding and stuff we haven't yet done that which is not ideal since that is very very last minute but we're gonna be fine we're gonna do it it'll be everything will be okay um it is a fairly simple project well in terms of our capabilities just because we didn't want to do anything too difficult that might make us too stressed so we are we picked a relatively simple project so we're gonna get working on that today this begins at four um, so then this is just gonna go to the side. Then what else is going on? I want to put in my AM and PM routines. Let's put in work as well. Oh, let me put in my meeting actually first. 
So I have a meeting from 11 to like, oh, I put that in the wrong spot. It's supposed to be 11 to 10.30. There we go, I mean 12.30. What am I saying? There we go. So I have a meeting this day and this is gonna be a huge meeting because we're gonna be returning to um, some in-person activity. So we need to be briefed on that. And then I'll just put this here with a work script like so. And then I'll just do that for these two days as well. Just very quickly. There we go. Um, then we will move on to I guess let's do my sidebar a little bit. So I'll just stick this box at the bottom. So the good thing about the eight and a half by, a, what am I saying? Not eight and a half by 11, by, by these 1.5 inch boxes is the Sunday column and the weekly or like the sidebar both have a lot of uh, extra room so that anything that is too big or like not sized correctly can still fit on those two sides but anything else it's totally fine otherwise. So let's see, Flash and Good Trouble come back on the 9th. So this is a big box for that, but I just wanna put that in there. I don't think I have anything else going on. And then is it the 11th that this comes back? Let's see really quick. Yeah, the 11th is when this comes back. I think I wanna put this, I feel like there was something else I had to mark for the 11th though. That was like an all-day thing, is there? Maybe not. Yeah, okay, so then this can go at the top here. And I think I am gonna just try and center it a little bit. So Upload is the show that stars Robbie Mel, and it's basically about, oops. It's about a future reality where you upload your con consciousness to be, um, what's the word? So that you can live on forever basically and you go to like a virtual reality place to live for the rest of your life. And it's kinda, kinda weird, not gonna lie, but it is a pretty interesting show. So there's that. Um, this bill is due on Sunday. And then this little guy goes here. I really like the way these look. So it's similar to how the washi strip, strip stickers that she sells are, but instead it is a, um, oh, I forgot to put in my weekend banner. I think I might just stick this at the bottom actually. Instead, since I already took up the space up there. Um, Oh, I also have to put in spring forward. I think I might put spring forward here just because you do have to mark your count or like turn your clocks back before you go to bed. Well, if you had like actual clocks that did that, but nowadays everyone has a digital clock so it just does it on its own for us. So I'm gonna mark off law and order Thursdays. I'm gonna just mark it off in the middle of the time because like I said, it is, or I guess I didn't say it in this video. In a video I was filming before, I had said it's three hours. So yeah, weekly goals. I think I'll just, I think I'll put that in the morning at like 10 o'clock. Just cause I'm gonna do schoolwork in the afternoon. Um, Let's see what else. So I have this week and I think I wanna put important here for like next week stuff. So I'll stick this down about here. There we go. Um, I don't think there's anything else from here that I need for my daily pages. Oh, let me grab my little contact, oops. My little contact sticker here to stick over here. So I'm gonna actually speed you guys up and I'm gonna use this dark green Tombow to mark in like study schoolwork time and I will be right back.
Okay, so that is when my time blocked off. I don't know why this washi doesn't want to stick down. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a lot of schoolwork. So let me put down study. So on Wednesday, we probably will do schoolwork later. It's just because the box is there that it like is cut off a bit. Oh, I just realized I, for some reason, didn't color in the times. There. And then I'm gonna use my last two homework scripts. So I'm not gonna buy any more of these like school-related scripts since I'm supposed to be graduating and I don't want to have them left over in the future. So I'm just using them out now. So homework is all done and then study I have two left, which I might use another time. Um, so plan your week seriously. I am going to just stick down here. And I think that's everything for my daily pages. I mean my, not my daily page, my weekly pages. So we're going to skip over to my dailies. So I'm just going to go through quickly and lay stuff down just so you guys get an idea of what my base looks like. So I will just center this here. The one thing about these is they're pretty well sized so I could actually like center it and then I can choose to either have the moon phase show or the um, the number of the month since apparently my understanding is in Japan they just go by the month number instead of like the name of the month like we do here in North America um, but I'm the moon phases is not really like something that is super important for me to make note of uh as well as any of the big phases are in the other pages the monthly pages so that's what i have there then let's see here um Seems that I'm missing half my stickers. Where did I put them? Oh, found them. <laughs> Oopsie. There we go. So I'm gonna just lay down my classes and my top three with you guys. I'll do the to-do list um, off camera just because this video is getting a little bit long and I know personally, I prefer videos um, that are not too, too long. So let's lay these in. It is the same format that I use pretty much all the time. I'm gonna use the hearts. And then I have two classes. So I accidentally wrote like one of my other classes on here that I don't actually have this week, but that's fine. Oh, I didn't make any boxes for work, so I'll do that. So I'm putting my classes at the top. I think I'm actually going to put some of, actually no, I wanna put the pink terrazzo boxes. Yeah, I'll put these down for work. And I'll just mark in my work hours that way. So this one, I think I'm gonna try and shove this one into the corner and then put this one here, just because I work first and then go to class that day. Wednesday is only work, no class. Thursday, I haven't decided if I'm gonna work on Thursday because I have the availability, but I do not know for sure. So I think I'm just going to stick this on the side anyway. And then actually, hmm. yeah, I'll stick this on this side anyway and we'll, and then I'll decide afterwards what I'm gonna do. Oh, and I've been forgetting these, it's fine. Then Friday, I don't work at all because I have three Glasses. So I'm going to see if I can just shove this all the way to the edge here and then stick down all of them maybe. No, I'll do one below just because it's a little too cramped otherwise. So I have my three classes on Friday, so that's done. Then, oops, I'm ripping this paper. There. So that, and then let's pull a lighter green. Let's do a light green and a dark green here. Okay. 
well these are like blue greens but you know what i mean just want some contrast so since i use those i'll use the aqua e color and the brighter green color so i like to avoid putting the same colored checklist and to-do box some people prefer the monochrome look i prefer it to be mismatched like i know my friend christy over at bitly ditly has plans she loves her color blocking and that's just not for me <laughs> though i do love christy spreads i'll use this blue so i have a blue a greener blue and a blue blue then i'm going to use the green and the pale green and then i'll use this lighter bluish color and this deep blue. So I'm going to use this blue and then pull this in here. Perfect. So that is my base laid down. Um, like I said, I will fill everything else on in off camera and you guys will check out my flip through uh, at the end of or like in April when it's posted to see kind of how everything turned out. Actually, wait, let me grab this. <laughs> Got this bill due and I do have a change contacts here that I will pull in in this corner here like this perfect okay so yeah that is everything for this week I hope you guys enjoy let me just skip back to the weekly page so you guys can take a look again so this is how it looks hopefully this washi stays down um but yeah this is how it looks this is what's going to happen uh, or this is how I plan the week to happen. We'll see what actually happens. I'll update you guys next week or in two weeks like I normally do. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Like this video on your way out if you liked it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my future content. Happy planning guys.